All right, boys and girls, today's video, we're gonna show you how to unlock the security in a Gen 3 GMC PCM computer, whatever you wanna call it. <clears throat> the first thing you wanna do is open up your HP tuners and click this read button. Make sure you're all hooked up before you do so to your diagnostic and just let this go through and read is the first thing you're gonna do. And the reason I'm doing this is going to be possibly a second video, maybe not, but um, we had some wires lay against the exhaust and uh, caused a short out situation. And ever since that has happened, if I plug in my O2 sensor on this side, it dries my fuel trims way, way, way out of whack. So I'm basically doing this for the second time, but... Um, I want the truck to run better. So you buy the credits, update your stuff, and uh, we're in the process of doing it here now. Well, it's reading. It's going to bring up all the information on the stock computer, which I know is a 4.8. My truck is a 6 liter, so there's going to have to be a lot of changes made to this tune. But we will get it done. <clears throat> So we're going to save the original file. I don't know if it'll let me hear my keyboard's messed up just a sec. First you want to go on first you want to go on their website, buy their credits. I bought two credits. Then you go on your tuning software and you want to go to Resync interface, which I just did to get my credits uploaded to my OBD2 Right here under help resync interface. That's what you want to do So now we've got the stock tune up for the 4.8 um, I'm going to switch it all over and then apply the tune to the computer that's in the truck now So now I've got my original six-speed tune for the er, six liter tune sorry not six speed um and i'm gonna go ahead and write this onto the new computer then you get this nice attention thing basically telling you before you spend your money are you sure you want to do this 100 percent? and when it first brings it up the button is on do not license you want to click on the one that matches your serial number and press ok action cannot be undone yes i know now we're gonna go right. You should always load the stock tune back on the stock computer after you purchase your credits and license your computer. Before you make any modifications, just don't touch anything and immediately go to right vehicle. And then make your modifications and carry on the next step. If it doesn't make that first step, then you're gonna have to contact HP tuners. Um, once in a while there is a blip in the software um i actually experienced a little bit of it today but i uh, got it resolved no issue knew what the problem was after i talked to somebody so always load your stock file before you tune it or modify it and just make sure it works so remember to get rid of security you go underneath system then you're going to go to general you're going to see security, fats control. You want to switch this to none. This is what we're after. After you do that, you're going to file save or save as. And then we're going to go right vehicle. Make sure the ignition's on in the vehicle. <laughs> Sorry about the glare. There's not much I can do here. It's done you press close key off key on 
and then we should fire up. Key off, key on. Bang oh. Look at that boys and girls. So that is how we get rid of security on GM computers.